What I am about to show you is probably going to piss you off. So recently, there's been a video circulating the internet of this guy going to Wendy's and buying a meal for a homeless guy on the street. Now, hearing that, you might be like, oh, why would I be pissed off at that? That's great. That's so nice of him to do something like that. And you'd be correct to assume that, except that's not where the video ends. You a baconator, man. I was homeless myself, so I, I want to make sure you get on the right path. And, you know, you're always able to, you know, get back on your feet. You know, so I, just, I want you to enjoy this. This is really good. All right, take care. Have a nice day. Yeah. And that's the whole video. It wasn't some sort of misdirection, you know? It's not like one of those videos where a prankster goes up to a person, takes their AirPods, breaks them, and, and buys them, like, 10 new pair or something like that which is still fucked up to begin with like like why'd you put them through that why didn't you just like just give them something new instead of like putting them through that stress to begin with so even if he were to have done this but still given the guy 50 dollars, it still would have been fucking weird but as i said he doesn't do that he doesn't do anything he just leaves him there but after going to his youtube channel today he has actually since taken down the youtube short it was up last night when i looked at his channel but today it is no longer there so i'm guessing he didn't want all that bad publicity even though it's pretty much the same thing that he's been doing for a while now on his YouTube channel. As you can see from the titles alone, exploding fireworks at the golf course, I brought a bomb into a classroom, destroying a Girl Scout cookie stand, I embarrassed him in front of his girlfriend, I took a crackhead to top golf, etc, etc. You get the gist. But you know, maybe the titles are misleading. You know, I mean, YouTube's full of clickbait. Maybe he's just exaggerating it for the clicks. No, don't let his titles and dog shit thumbnails fool you. The videos are just as bad. As you can see from the video exploding fireworks at the golf course, where he does, in fact, explode fireworks on a golf course where people are just casually golfing. It's louder than I thought. He also goes into a family dollar where he disrupts everyone's day because what else do you have better to do than to be a dick? The fact that he's doing this is bad enough, right? Like we all know that that harassing innocent random people is shitty. It's stupid. It's annoying. But the fact that you're at Family Dollar family dollar you are specifically preying on poor people from the video where you make fun of the homeless guy now you're at family dollar like if he was harassing like a millionaire i wouldn't care as much you know but these people they're struggling you know they're just trying to get by i guarantee that the worker there's making fucking like 13 dollars an hour if even that she just wants to do her job and get home and and not have to to deal with people like you. And then in the same video, he goes up and cleans a guy's car that is just casually pumping gas when the guy is repeatedly telling him to stop touching his car, which is a reasonable thing. Get the fuck off my car! Can I help you? Get off my car! I'm, I'm but Trey doesn't listen, of course, because why would he? Trey's the smartest person ever. He's the funniest person ever. He makes the best content. He makes the best thumbnails. He, he's just, he's all around the best. So of course, why would he listen to this random guy? But wait, there's more because in the same video, he's also driving down the street as one normally does, but you can't just drive down the street without being a complete dick to the people around you. So what do you think it is? that Trey does. Is it A, reckless driving? Is it B, he starts a fight with another driver in the car beside him? Or is it C, he makes fun of a disabled man with no arms because he can't jerk off? Well, if you said C, you'd be correct. Yo! Yo, bro, how do you jack it? Does <laughs> that mean? Nah. How do you become this? Like, how do you become this detached from reality? from other people's experiences to where you just don't give an absolute fuck about anyone except yourself. This is like my whole problem when I hear people talk about how the people around them are NPCs acting like they don't have their own lives and their own experiences. They're just like side characters to them. Like, dude, how do you not see the, the impact that you have on people, especially bringing it to the internet where you can have an influence on other people? But I mean, in the end, that's what he wants. 
you know that's the reason he does these outlandish things is for publicity and also just because he's a, a straight up asshole but i just don't understand why you would ever want to cultivate an audience that is just as fucking miserable and stupid as you are luckily most of the people in his comments section are shitting on him i think because a lot of them came from the original video that i showed at the beginning of the video and i think we're all just kind of waiting for this guy just to get fucking clocked you know the day that someone just knocks this kid out is gonna be it, it's gonna be so nice and when it happens i want i want to have front row seats and like the content that he makes isn't even enjoyable or funny in any single way like for example his latest video handing out condoms at baby stores it's not as egregious as his other video ideas you know where he's making fun of disabled people making fun of homeless people harassing people i mean i guess you can make the argument that he is still harassing these people in a way but it's just not funny yeah here you go i want to give you that are you trying to be funny? I'm just trying to make sure this is your last time in the store. Um, yeah. Why are you handing me a condom? So this is your last time in the store. Okay. Excuse me, ma'am. Here. Here you go. Uh, feature reference. Accidents happen. You said what? What am I doing? I swear to God, I'm not. I swear to God, I'm not. Like, it's just awkward. It's weird. Most of them aren't even getting upset with him. They're just confused. As I feel like most people watching the video, because what the fuck am I watching? What part of this is entertaining in the slightest? I'd be mad too if I had to spend 18 years of money on something I made, I made a mistake for. I don't blame you. Oh, a mom joke, really? A mom joke? How old are we now? A mom joke, a mom joke, really? Dude, you're making fun of someone making a mom joke to you? I couldn't even hear what she said at the end of it, but I already know that it was way funnier than the joke that you just made. Like, I'm pretty sure that what they were saying was that your mom did exactly what you just said. Wasted 18 years trying to fix a problem. And I mean, obviously she didn't succeed because you're, you're doing this. <laughs> But, you know, I don't think that it should all be taken out on the parents. You know, I had a pretty fucked up childhood myself, and I'd like to think that I'm not as shitty as this guy. For another example, let's look at this video. I embarrassed him in front of his girlfriend, where he goes into Walmart, finds a cute couple, makes fun of the way they look. How does it feel that your girlfriend looks like a man more than you in the relationship? And then proceeds to follow them around with a camera in their face as he just keeps screaming nonsense at them, and then eventually flips his card over. This is my card. Dude, this is my cart. Why'd you do that? Why the fuck would you do that? What? What? As much as I am trying to understand where this guy is coming from, I can't. Like, I, can't, I physically, my brain cannot handle it because there is no explanation for this. As an adult male, you are acting this way. Oh my god. There's a very simple rule in life that I think the majority of normal people follow. Do unto others as you would have them do to you. You don't want to die? Don't kill someone. You don't want to be harassed? Don't harass someone. So obviously this guy has no problem with people harassing. So I really hope to God, dude, I hope to God. I, I, you know, I never wish violence. I never wish violence upon people. I don't think violence solves anything. But in the case of someone who just doesn't listen and in his heart of hearts is actually just a three-year-old that has no sense of the world around him. I hope to God that somebody just kicks the shit out of this guy. Now, of course, like, every prank loser this guy takes into consideration who he's pranking because obviously he doesn't want to get the shit kicked out of him so he preys on people that don't look like they're able to defend themselves like how he harasses women all the time how he harasses people that he is driving by when he's in his safe little car or old men or just normal well-mannered people that would rather not get into a physical altercation in the middle of a walmart it's it's just it's so it's so fucking painful it's so painfully unfunny holy shit you are a loser you are such a fucking loser but you know he's a clout chaser as long as he's getting views he doesn't care where it's coming from he could cultivate the worst audience in the world doesn't matter to him they're all just npcs anyway all he wants is his 10 seconds of fame which he got from that short which is now deleted so trey wh why did you delete it that was the biggest thing bringing people to you did could you not take the heat? Are you that much of a pussy that as soon as you started getting too much backlash? Oh, well, now it's time to like rein it back in a little bit. No, stick to your guns. Keep going. Keep going. Let's see where it lands you. Okay, so while I'm editing this video, I went to Trey's YouTube channel to collect more footage to put in the video. And as I'm watching this video where he's offering this homeless lady chicken nuggets in exchange for her dog, you know, a total normal thing to ask someone. This happened. Pizza crust. Pizza crust. Yep. 
So I'm like, oh, okay, that's that's weird. So I exit out of the video. I go back to his channel and it's gone. It's all gone. He has deleted everything. So I did a little more digging and it turns out that he actually released a response to all the backlash where he's eating Wendy's in front of the homeless guy. And basically he just says that it was all staged. It was all fake. The whole thing was completely made up. It was just a joke. The burger Wendy's video with the homeless guy was fake. His name is Israel. He was known around the neighborhood. My friend knew him. He said, yo, Israel, hey, can we get can we get you in this video? Can we get you in the skit? He said, yes, everything was scripted. It was a fake video. I'm not gonna apologize because you guys don't like my fake video. We already gave him food ahead of time. We already gave him food after. Congrats, buddy. Congrats. You did the bare minimum. Great job. And whether he's telling the truth here or not, I feel like it's pretty irrelevant because to my knowledge, I don't believe you set a disclaimer claiming that the video was fake until you started getting all the backlash and that's whenever you went and changed the description so before that you were fine with people thinking it was real but then once people started getting upset then you're like oh no it's fake which it might be i wasn't there i can't say whether he's telling the truth or not but even if that video is completely fake it doesn't excuse all the other acts you've done in all of your other videos and there's a lot of them i barely scratched the surface here there were loads of more videos that i didn't even watch just because there was so much to talk about within the ones that we did so whether or not it's real or fake in my mind it doesn't excuse this man whatsoever but yeah i just wanted to share that little tidbit on how trey pussy out and took all of his content away from the internet and hopefully we won't see him again anytime soon but that's gonna be it for this video thank you guys so much for watching and if you would like to watch more of me making fun of stupid prank youtubers click right there but until next time goodbye